Alex is stratified here and uh, we have a car coming in the shop today that we finished tuning and I want to talk a little bit about the setup because it's uh, quite interesting I think it's quite a quite a popular setup so behind me here is a mark 7 Golf R and this mark 7 Golf R is a DSG car and it has all the bolt-ons that's an intercooler a downpipe cat back uh, intake and as well as a DSG tune, so uh, this particular car has a DSG tune by APR. Now the party piece in this car is actually the turbocharger, it's a Boss 500 kit, GTX 2867 by uh, CTS. So this car came to us uh, earlier on and we had a really hard time with spool. So it was, it was taking a lot longer than what we'd want out of a 2867 on a 2 liter to spool. and. Um, we did wastegate adaptations and so on, but it turns out that we just need a more preload on the wastegate. So right off the bat, when you're installing one of these kits, make sure that you've got uh, enough preload on that wastegate and that you do the adaptation uh, thereafter. So otherwise, it's really, really going to harm your spool. And um, in terms of results, so let's talk a little bit about fuel. We used a mixture of ethanol and pump gas. Here in BC, we have very poor octane uh, even our 94 octane is actually very very poor fuel and the reason for that is because there's no ethanol uh, content in it at all it's been actually legislated out and because of that this customer added some e85 and we ended up for blend just below e20 so e17 is what is in the car and uh, at e17 and uh, our power level that uh, we got to uh, the high pressure fuel pump was happy this is an oem high pressure fuel pump oem low pressure fuel pump and actually there's no additional fueling he has a water meth kit uh, that's that's kind of been working on and off a little bit so we decided to leave it out of the equation for this time around and when it's up and running more reliably maybe we'll throw that in for some additional fueling and push a little bit further so we're right on the threshold of ma of uh, knock with these results here, the car made right around the 425 wheel horsepower point, and that is at about 27 and a half uh, psi boost. So uh, a couple of interesting points about the uh, the power curve here. We tried to achieve a nice flat torque curve, and you can see here how nice and flat this torque curve is once the turbo spools up. So in fourth gear, we get. We get reasonable spool right around the 3,700 RPM range. You can see that knee point right there when boost comes up. And then it, uh, it continues traveling here and then flattens out and rises a little bit towards the red line. That rise in boost towards red line really helps maintain the, um, the flat, oops, the flat torque curve there. So that's that's something that you want if you want to give the car a very nice linear feel. And another interesting thing about this uh, this engine is that you can see from this graph that the the engine flows quite well. And how can you tell that is that the torque curve does not really drop off uh, towards red line and you can see that the horsepower the peak horsepower number is achieved right right at red line essentially at the shift point for the DSG. So very nicely flowing engine. Uh, it, it does take a little bit longer to spool um, than, than obviously the stock turbo. And we have seen uh, vehicles with 2867, some of which we tune, like the Ford Focuses that spool a little bit earlier and forth uh, to get to 20 PSI. However, this being uh, is having such nice top end, it makes up for some of that. And uh, on top of this, this being a DSG car, once you get the once you get it into the spool zone where you can easily build boost and keeping it there with the fast shifts of the DSG, it really makes it uh, a nice little rocket down uh, down the quarter mile or just accelerating through the gears. So we're quite happy with the setup. There's definitely more in it with a little bit more ethanol content, uh, especially with some water methanol. We can, we definitely have some timing. We even have a little bit more boost. It looks like the system is still efficient at this point. So certainly 450 uh, horsepower with not too much more work is, um, is very much within reach. But uh, yeah, the, the system is running well. The engine is flowing well. The turbo is, is working quite efficiently. Seeing a 2867 at 425 or so to the wheels is, is a happy point for this turbo.